also this noon, a boil water advisory is in effect at this hour in the Crescent Hill area following a water main break. The WLKY news chopper is above the scene of the break there. That's at Grinstead and Springdale Drive. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan is there with the latest developments for us. Carolyn? Karen, this has caused a big mess here in the area, and Louisville water crews are now trying to figure out what caused this pipe to break. Now, video from just a little while ago shows you where the road buckled this morning. An SUV got caught up in that buckled road. Now, the driver was able to get out safely, and crews have since removed that SUV. This all started around 3 o'clock this morning. Neighbors here tell us the roads were drenched in water, and it was a scary sight to see. Reminds me of what you'd see like after an earthquake in California. Um, just at the, it was like literally the road, the uh, road had like almost like melted and broken apart. It was very, very strange, and I felt bad for whoever was in that car because it was very scary. Again, the person who was in that SUV is okay, we are told. Now, the 60-inch diameter pipe that broke is the biggest size pipe at the distribution center. Right now, crews aren't sure why this happened. They're looking at the pipe. They're also checking to see how much water was being pumped this morning at the time of the break. Now, this pipe, we're told by a spokeswoman, was installed in the late 1980s, but she says that is actually pretty new when it comes to water pipe age. To put that in perspective, for you, she says some Louisville water pipes date back to 1860. Now, if you live in the area, you do likely have water. They say everyone should have water again, but you do need to boil that water for at least three minutes before using it. If you're wondering, am I impacted? Do I need to boil my water? Louisville Water has a list of all of the streets where people need to boil water on their website. We will continue to keep you updated throughout the day. Also, the spokeswoman for Louisville Water says they do hope. To be able to lift that water bill tomorrow at some point, hopefully in the morning. Reporting live, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.